Hi, Gem. Hi, my gemstones. All right, welcome back to my channel. We're going to do your new lover spread. Well, it's not even a spread. I need to stop saying that. New lovers read, okay? Um, all the jewelry I'm wearing is from dreamtarot.store. If you're interested, you can check that out in the link down below, or um, you can just search up www.dreamtarot.store. Okay, starting off the bat, two of cups is on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this new person is going to be divine. I also feel like it's going to be a long-lasting relationship. Also get best friend vibes from you and this person. Hopefully it's not your best friend as your new lover. I mean, maybe, I don't know. But um, someone that you're going to have a very close bond to, okay? All right, so let's see. Who is this new lover coming into Gemini's life? Who is this new lover, this new lover? coming into Gemini's life. Who's his new lover? Give me some cards. All right, the Ace of Wands, okay? Someone that you're going to have a lot of passion for. Could be a fire sign. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. Give me one more card, okay? Give me one more card. Could also be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn gem, okay? Eight of Pentacles. This is someone who works hard, okay? They walk it like they talk it. Okay, why am I saying Somebody walks it like they talk it, okay? They work hard um, and they can back that up. Like someone also could be very stable with the Eight of Pentacles, with the Ace of Wands. Somebody's good all on their own, but they want you, Gemini, okay? All right, so let's clarify these cards. Clarify the Ace of Wands for this person. It's going to be very hot and heavy, you and this person, okay? I also feel like someone's sexual stamina is going to be through the roof. So if you dealt with someone's sexual stamina in the past that wasn't up to your liking, this new person is going to take you for a loop, okay? Okay. okay. All right, let's Ace of Wands, please. Let's Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords. Okay, it's just what it is. What I said is what it is, okay? But not only that, someone who could be very honest with you. So like I said, best friend vibes. Like someone who is going to be like be able to laugh with you, okay? You guys can scroll through social media and laugh at the stupid shit that's posted on social media. You guys are going to send TikToks to each other while y'all are at work, okay? Y'all are going to be calling each other on breaks and just laughing it up. FaceTime calls are going to be super fun with this person. Like dates are going to be super fun with this person. Vacations are going to be super fun. Like someone's just very passionate. You and this person, are gonna, they're going to keep your attention, Gemini. I don't think there's a lot of people who are able to keep your attention. This person will, okay? And they're very honest with you about anything. So this could turn you off in the beginning because I'm getting something where someone could be too honest with you. You might be turned off. You're like, damn, like, can you keep some things to yourself? But you're actually going to love this about this person in the future, okay? Yeah, Ace of Cups on the bottom. Okay, so this person and you are definitely meant to be. It's a new love beginning. All right, I like this for you. What's, Ace of, what's the, Sorry, what's the Eight of Pentacles, please? Eight of Pentacles for this person. High Priestess. Whatever someone does for work is going to be a mystery for you when you first meet them, okay? Hmm. What does someone do? Like, it's going to be a secret or a secretive, okay? <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I'm not going to throw things that are in my head out there because I don't want to tarnish this person's energy. It could literally mean anything, but maybe you just don't know what this person does. You also could quite like the mystery or you're not going to really ask them what they do because someone could be eight of pentacles. They walk it like they talk it, right? So it doesn't even matter what this person does because they always got their money up. So if you're a feminine energy and you like for the masculine to dominate and um, provide, it's like, this is a good provider. You know, this is someone who, you know, they got money. Okay. And you don't, you don't even care what they do. Cause you're like, okay, this person looks stable. So I'm just happy that they're stable, but someone's job is a mystery. What's the high priestess, please? Could also be a Pisces that you're going to be dealing with or an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini like yourself, Ace of Swords, but I'm, I'm not getting that. I'm getting Fire Sign Heavy. I'm also getting um, um Earth Sign. Okay, what's the High Priestess? What's the High Priestess, please? Nine of Wands, okay? Whatever someone does, it makes them very happy. Someone could have multiple jobs, so someone's a multiple, like they have, they work in, okay, so someone could be like a contractor, or a contract manager. I don't even know what that means, guys. Okay, because I'm thinking like someone could be a contractor, but hmm. I'm getting building. So someone can build things. So this like this could be an architect. This could be a, a contractor 
or a contract manager. Like someone has many different things that they do. They all work out for them. So maybe you might know one thing that someone does, but like someone could tell you I do this and then you see like their house or you see their cars, cars. So someone has more than one car, whoever you're going to be dealing with. Um... But it's like, you're like, oh, does that amount to this? Like, you're su you're super confused. So it may not be that you don't know this person's main job. You don't know what else they do on the side. So someone has money, like they cultivate money in many different ways. You don't know all of those ways. And it's not that you just, this person's hiding it. I mean, they could, the high priestess. But I, I also feel like you're not asking because it's like, mm, I like this. Yeah, the, the, the universe card is here or the world card is here. It's like, I really like this person. So I'm not even going to ask. You see how all these things are flying around them? It's kind of like you don't even understand how all of these things are flying around you, Gemini but you trust this new person coming in and you're like oh you know i don't even care how they're flying i'm just happy to be here okay okay nice and what's after that the um king of pentacles yeah somebody got money okay they got money and you also have the three of cups too okay so you and this person are gonna have so much fun together like this person's gonna be your bestie okay i love that i love that energy gemini all right all right so let's now move on let's move on let's move on all right let's see how you will meet this person all right spirit okay how will how will gemini meet this person how will gemini meet this person spirit give me some cards how will gemini meet this person All right, reckless is playing for you, so you could meet this person recklessly. I don't know what that means, okay? I really, <laughs> I don't know what that means. You also have the Knight of Pentacles here, okay? You could meet this person through work or on your lunch break. So, okay, I'm also getting a story, so, you know, I don't know. Some of you guys, Geminis, might be doing this, and I have no judgment because I would definitely do this if I was working too. On your lunch break, you go to a bar or to a restaurant, but you have a drink. You meet someone there, okay? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Like, something is recklessly being done. Okay, what is this? Okay, the Page of Swords. Yeah, it's like, don't tell my business, bitch. Like, yes, I do like to go on lunch breaks and have a drink. Some of my Geminis like to go have a drink on their lunch break. And no one's judging. I'm not judging. But you're going to meet this person that way at a bar. So if you frequent a, a restaurant that has a bar and you always have like a drink on your lunch break, you're going to meet this person randomly. This could be on their lunch break as well. So it doesn't have to be your lunch break. Maybe you're just going somewhere and you're having a drink or you're having some food, some takeout or whatever. You could be pick, getting a pickup order as well. Like maybe you called the order in and you're like, yes, I'm going to go in and pick up my order. This person will be at the bar or they'll be right next to the pickup station. That's how you'll meet this person in there on their lunch break, okay? So you could be meeting this person around lunchtime. I'm getting 11 to 3 p.m. You could be meeting this person, okay? What else is here? Okay, so this is the Page of Swords in reverse. I feel like it's definitely unexpected, and I feel like it catches you off guard because you're not used to it. Also, I feel like you don't think twice. You give this person your number. So if somebody asks you for your number, you don't think twice. You're like, here, like you're interested in this person, I feel. Okay, what else? How else is this for how else is Gemini gonna meet this person? What is this? Okay, this is the Knight of Swords, okay? Clarify the Knight of Swords, please. I just feel like it's not gonna be hard for this person to get your number or you to get this person's digits. It's like someone doesn't even think before giving it and then, or this person can give you their business card as well. So they could be an entrepreneur of some sort. What is this? Yeah, the King of Wands is here. Could be dealing with the fire sign. Like I said, Aries Leo Sag, but someone is super confident or just, just exchanging contacts makes this person smile all day. You give them a surge of energy when they go back to work, okay? Or this is you. You get a surge of energy after meeting this person. Like, I feel like you guys are both equally attracted. It was random, but it was like, oh, this is a good random meeting. We also have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom right now. So this was meant to be. And it could center work or going to pay for something, okay? So maybe, like I said, how you're picking up food. Maybe you're not picking up food. Maybe you're paying for something else. Maybe you're going into the auto center and you're paying for your car oil change and you meet someone like that. It's something that has to do with you going to pay for something, going to a shop, a store to pay for something. You're going to meet this person, okay? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Also feel like someone's picking up the bill for you too, Gemini, just to date you. Or you're doing this, so that's nice as well. I like that. It's cool. 
All right, so when will when will um Gemini meet this person? When will it be soon or will it be far away? Will it be soon or will it be far away? Give me some cards. Will it be soon or will it be far away? Strength card, it'll be pretty soon. Could also be a Leo, okay? This person just, you radiate this energy that this person just smells on you. They're just hungry for you. <laughs> Strength card, they can't stay away. This is going to happen really fast. You're attracting this person in, so keep it up. What's the strength card, please? Clarify the strength card, please. The two of swords, you're not going to see this coming. It's going to be like the tower energy. It's going to be very unexpected, okay? So just live your life normally. Live your life normally. Some of you guys are scared of love. The Ace of Cups, Three of Swords, because of your past energy has left you broken, okay? Um, but just know, don't shut yourself out from this new love. It looks very positive, okay? So that's all I have to say about that, okay? Let's see what their first impressions are going to be, okay, of you. And then we'll see what your first impressions will be of them. All right, so what is this person's first impressions of Gemini? What is this person's first impressions of Gemini? What is this person's first impressions of Gemini spirit? Give me some cards. Wow, the three of swords would come back out again, okay? So uh, somebody knows that you're broken. I'm sorry to say broken because that like, come on. That's not the best word I could use, but that's the word I'm getting in my head, okay? You're definitely broken from your past. But this is this person's first impressions of you, Gemini, Ace of Cups. They're like, I don't care if they're broken. I'm going to fix it, okay? So that is wonderful. Someone doesn't care what happened in your past. If you have trust issues, if you feel damaged, if you're not ready for love, they want to show you that true love is is here. Like they want to show you that this could actually, somebody wants to show you that like, listen, your exes were mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> not somebody wants to show you that your exes were mistakes it could be a, um, a leo sun card okay or you're just too damn fine to be you know the tower is here as well guys the tower remember i said something feels like the tower is unexpected i don't feel like you expect this you might not even trust me right now saying this what's we'll say it's a cuff please you might be like girl that's not gonna happen but it is girl i'm telling you right back at you girl it's gonna happen okay <laughs> all right the five of wands you're going to make this person, you're going to, okay, this is a warning, I guess. It's predicting that you're going to make your yourself very hard to love for this person because you feel three of swords energy. You might feel like I'm, you know, you might feel like I don't even know about love right now. Don't do that. I mean, this person's up for the challenge, but they're literally your, your, and I also feel like you might friend zone someone at first and maybe that's how it becomes the best friends to lover situation. I don't know. What's the three of swords? king of pentacles somebody's up for the challenge because they king of pentacles is a very wise energy okay they don't do much action okay they also don't do too much thinking this is someone who doesn't overthink situations like the king of swords they don't do much action like the king of wands hear me out okay so it's like when they first see you and they see that you're in this three of swords energy they're not going to overthink it they're not going to judge you that's the that's the king of swords energy but someone is the king of pentacles they're not going to judge you they're like listen we've all been there i've been there once before i understand what gemini is going through they're also not going to take too much action they're not going to be too pushy with you if you want to move slow okay we'll move slow what, what's the problem you know i'm confident in you gemini so i will go at your pace okay so that's someone's first impressions of you yeah like the world card is here again you and this person are definitely in sync i love it okay let's see what you will first think about this person what is gemini's first impressions of this new lover what is gemini's first impressions of this new lover spirit ten of cups in reverse. <laughs> yeah all right ten of cups in reverse okay now, for someone that you never met like that, if this is a new, new person for sure, you can't be the Ten of Cups in reverse. I feel like, okay, this is how I feel. I feel like you do care about this person so much, Ten of Cups, but you are so scared that you like this person so much that you initially are just waiting to be disappointed by them. Clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse. So you're going to really like this person, but you're already telling yourself, don't like them. Don't get your feelings involved. Don't even do it, Jam. That's what you're telling yourself with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse is the emperor. Yeah, you're super serious with this person. You don't want to show them your emotions. So even if this person makes you smile, makes you laugh, makes your heart warm, you're going to be acting very stuck up. The emperor, you're going to be like, yeah, 
You're not getting a smile out of me. So that's your first impressions is that you know you really like this person. But you, it's almost like self-sabotaging energy a little bit. What else is here? Also, too, someone could be a boss or you just like someone's work ethic with the emperor. Remember the eight of pentacles came out? You feel like you don't know if this person is ready for a commitment. So you're not going to allow yourself to be open. But, you know, you got to give people chances, okay? What else is here? The empress. Mm. You immediately want to take care of this person, Gemini. So you are very much a giver in your relationships, Gemini. Very much so. You may say, no, I'm not. Okay, you used to be. Maybe you you stopped doing that because you felt like it wasn't getting you nowhere. So maybe this is why you're not going to allow yourself to enjoy this person's affection at first. Because you're like, okay, once I'm in with this person, I'm going to want to give so much and I don't want to get let down. But your initial, um, your initial um, impression of this person is that you want to take care of them. Now, not that saying that you want to like pay their bills or you want to like you know, you may, if you're, if you like to cook, you're going to be like, oh, I just want to, I want to cook dinner for this person. Or if you like, if you're an affectionate person and you like to touch, you're going to be like, oh, I would love to rub this person or rub their hair, or put my hands through their hair. Um, or if you like to plan dates, you're like, oh, I know the perfect place that me and this person could go. The problem is the Ten of Cups, the Emperor, you're not going to allow yourself to do that with this person. But in the back of your head, you're like, oh, I really want to nurture this person, the Empress, okay? You can also feel like you want to have kids with this person, maybe because you think they're so handsome or so beautiful. Yet a strength card, it's like you're holding yourself back from really giving to this person. This person makes you very happy, though. These cards came out a lot in Saggy's reading. So you and a Saggy, I said that, guys, you and a Saggy could be something, something, but I'm not going to predict your future like that. I'll let whatever happens happen naturally. But if you are interested in a Saggy or you like Sagittarius energy, you think that could be a match for you, go watch the Sagittarius reading. See if that if that person who's coming into Saggy's life is your energy, okay? All right, so now we're going to see what their intentions are with you. What is this new person's intentions with Gemini spirit? What is this new person's intentions with Gemini? Give me some cards. Six of Pentacles, e equal reciprocation. So don't be afraid to give to this person because they're going to give back as well. So there's two generous people going to be in a relationship. This is you and that person. Also, this person will, whatever you ask them, they're open. They're open book, the Six of Pentacles. Whatever you want to know, there's no fine print. There's no contract here. It's like, whatever you want to do, I'm willing to compromise. Someone is is able to compromise. You could have dealt with someone in the past who was very stubborn. This person is easygoing. Okay, what else is their intentions with Gemini? The three of wands to move forward. They feel like when they met you, their ships came in for them. They want things to be easygoing between you guys. Harmonious, har harmonious, excuse me, harmonious between you guys. And that's all this person wants is peace in their life, the three of wands. And they want to move forward, but only if it's going to bring peace. They don't want drama. And so that could also be great for you because I don't think you want drama either. Clarify the six of pentacles. The chariot. Somebody just wants to move forward with you and it will be a successful relationship. I'm telling you. What's the three of wands here? This is nice. All right, the nine of swords. Do not be in your head about this. Something is like too easy going or this person's too easy going to where you might psych yourself out because of this person, because of past energies. You're like, oh, this is too good to be true. I don't want to set myself up. I understand, you know? Justice card. This is your justice, though. This is what's owed to you. Is you know, you're it's not bad karma coming in for you, it's good karma. So just accept it for what it is and just just thrive in it. Live your life. Don't sabotage. Just live it. Live it out. Accept this. Be happy and just live your life. You know, thrive off of this energy. It's really good energy. Okay. Really good energy. The lovers is on the bottom and the full card. Trust your intuition with this person. Your intuition is going to be telling you trust them. Your mind is going to be overthinking. That's that air sign energy, Gemini. But guess what? It's It looks like it's good. It looks like it's meant to be, okay? All right, so now let's see what the first date will be between you and this person. All right, Spirit, give me the first date between Gemini and this person. Give me the first date between Gemini and this person, please. Justice card, okay? Nice. Something that's very sensory, okay? So sensory is um, sight, hearing, taste, smell. Sight, hearing, taste, smell. 
What's the other one? Isn't there five senses? Sight, hearing, taste, smell, touch, okay? <laughs> All right, so it's going to be your day. Your first day is going to be any of the five senses. It's going to be based off of that. So taste, okay? Maybe it's a restaurant that the food is going to be so yummy. Sight, maybe someone's going to take you to go see art. Hearing, okay? Hmm, musically, a music, a concert or a festival, a, out, a festival or something with music. Touch. I'm definitely getting touch, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you and this person are going to be doing a lot of touch, a touching with each other, okay? Or so, something, a date could inquire for you to do a lot of touching of certain things. I don't know. It's a little weird, but I don't freaking know. Okay, anything else? Okay, sight. Sight as well. So I, did, I, did I say art? Yeah. Touch, hearing, smell. Hmm, what is that? Something, hmm. Something with your senses or something's gonna really um, go in with your senses. I don't know what that means. What's a justice card? It's like two of the senses, the justice. So it's gonna be balanced. So like taste and touch. I'm getting taste and touch. Oh God, that sounds very sexual, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, the three of pentacles. Maybe three senses or two major ones, but it's going to be powerful first date, okay? And it's going to be very fun. But it's something that gets you and this person really close and personal, okay? Up close and personal. Maybe you guys are just going to a bar, but you, the way that this, the seats are positioned, you're like, you could feel this person's warmth. You could feel it, okay? You, like, you could feel their warmth because it is cold months, right? And I see you guys being so close and, like, drinking, I see touching, like hand touching or like shoulder touching. I see something very intimate between you and this person. Okay, what else is here? That's nice. <laughs> what else? Okay, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this is what it is. Ace of Swords. It's like, yeah, Four of Swords. After the date, you will be laying in bed. Listen. I don't know where we're going with this, but I'm going to say this, okay? I'm getting you laying in bed thinking about how good the date was or how good it was, okay? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Let's move. Okay, that's it. That That's it, guys. Gemini, I'm done. Let's get your last words, please. <laughs> I really see you laying in bed after. So maybe you go home and you're in bed just daydreaming about this person. Like, wow, that was a that was amazing date. Or you could be in this person's bed. We don't know, okay? Oh, Lord. All right, Gem. Gemstones. Let's get the last words between. Give me some last words for Gemini's new lover, please. Give me some last words for Gemini's new lover. Give me some last words for Gemini's new lover. Guys, please be patient with me while I'm trying to get my channel back in order. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't know what kind of reads I want to do. I have to feel inspired and i haven't felt felt inspired for this whole week so just bear with me also if you want to leave me some of the readings that you would like to see that you would actually watch okay let me know give me some inspiration also go go follow my second channel dream free i'm going to be doing a vlog on there i'm doing some talking about what's been going on with my channel and also about manifestation and i'm doing cooking it's all one vlog okay and you guys and i also made this bouquet on there so if you're interested in that go ahead and um subscribe or follow that channel and the new video will be posted today as well okay all right so let's see Let's see, for your new person, for Gemini's new person. Ooh, ooh. Anything else? Okay, all right. Bottom of the deck says, ooh, 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 ooh. ooh I'm sorry, guys, I'm childish. I'm, I'm excited for you guys, Gemini, okay? Pentacle daddy, pentacle mommy. Now that's that king of pentacles energy, okay? That's that eight of pentacles energy. Someone's money is going to be up. So if you dealt with people who didn't have the same work drive as you in the past, Gemini, you don't have to deal with that anymore. Your next person will be super stable, okay? All right. All right, what else is here? Intimidated. You could be intimidated at first because this person just seems really like a good match. Or this person could be a little intimidated from you. Could, a Leo could be coming into your life, okay? A Leo definitely could be coming into your life. 
No one compares to you, Gemini. You're one of a kind to this person, okay? So this person will put you on a pedestal, I'm telling you. Can't sleep. Remember I said you're going to be in bed thinking about this person? Yeah, you're going to have a lot of sleepless nights because this person, you know, going to be keeping you up, okay? Any way that that means. <laughs> All right, winter. This could be happening this winter. You could meet this person this winter. Could also be a winter baby. Um, That's Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn. But you could be meeting this person this winter, okay? Very soon, guys. All right, I need more attention. So this is someone who could be a little needy, okay? Or you could be a little needy. Like, you're scared to be needy for this person because they're so good to you. Like, you know, whatever. Traveling soon. You and this person could be taking vacation together. This person travels for work. This person could live a distance from you. Or while you're traveling, if you're going to be traveling soon, maybe for family, for the holidays, you might meet this person unexpectedly, okay? Spoiled brat. This person will spoil you rotten. Wow. Let me write that down for your um, title. Wow, Gemini. I really, oh, <laughs> Gemini, I wish I was a Gemini right now. I wish I was, okay? All right, guys, don't forget to thumbs up this read. If you like these kind of reads, if you want these kind of reads, you know, monthly or every two months, I will do them for you. Please let me know. Give me some feedback in the comments. Um, also, subscribe to my channel, okay? Because your, your video will be coming out more consistently. I'm trying to be more consistent on this channel. What else was going to say to you guys? Make sure you guys go subscribe to my second channel, Dream Free. It's in the description box down below. If you want a personal reading, if you want to shop my store, any of my jewelry, any of my candles, okay? If you want to follow my Instagram page, um, I did do a reading on there for you guys recently. All those links are in the description box down below. But I would love it if you guys go subscribe to my Dream Free channel. I will be posting a video today. You guys can see more about what I like to do and what I was talking about on there that I think we all need to hear. Love you guys so much, Gemini. This was a great reading, okay? And I will speak to you guys next time. Bye-bye.